All right, and I can't see. Zoom in. Oh my goodness gracious. Looks like Weck has just absolutely annihilated another guy. That Sork is putting in too much work. It's absolutely insane. This witch is getting the high ground. This ninja is absolutely running in like a fucking... What was that? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to today's video. This week, we had a couple of goals that we wanted to kind of work on. One being make as much money as possible so we can go ahead and do some enhancing since we still have that pride kudum. And two, try to push the 61 to get that Kaposha ring and so we can swap out the Mark of Shadows and maybe go for a 10 Mark of Shadow. Not quite sure what we're doing with that yet, but we have a lot of uh, grinding to get done this week and we, wanna, we want to make sure that we're able to go ahead and have a really awesome enhancing session on Friday. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Day one of building up some bank. We just finished here an hour here at Gahaz. Got 4.6k trash loot, two scrolls, which is an absolute travesty. But we made up for it with some pretty high rolling Rosar equips and just the sheer amount of them, so not too bad overall. Alright, we did just about two hours at Gahaz. We actually sold off about 2k uh, Gahaz trash loot because we were decked on a guy who was griefing us. So we kind of have a really inaccurate amount of you know money that we made these last couple hours, but um, this is what I got. Let's figure out to show it to you. Um, sorry that it's kind of inaccurate. We were getting grieved and had to do a lot of defending of the spot, but all in all, I think we made a decent amount of money still. Absolutely the best hour at Nagas ever. We got 8.2k trash loot, two seraphs, ton of rockabas, and we're getting ever closer to pushing 61. All right, so we just finished three hours and five minutes here at Nagas. Did so much grinding, finished up like 60 something Marnie Stones, have 18k trash loot, five scrolls. We did get another seraphs and a bunch more rockabas that we threw into Valencia, but. We are 11% from 61, so we're almost there. Made a big push today. Probably gonna go to Fogan's tomorrow and try to finish it up and get that Kaposha ring. Working on our final push, 261, we're here at Fogan's, and we've got 
4K, just under 4K trash loot in our first hour. We got five scrolls, and that's about it. One rock of a shoe, that's it. So we're just going to keep pushing, try to get to 61 by, by the end of tonight. All right, second hour here at Fogan's finished. We got another basically 300 or 3,900 trash loot. We got five more scrolls, and this hour we got three golden daggers, so that's an extra 15 mil as well. And uh, I believe another six Rockabas, so made a lot of money this hour. What do we get, chat? What do we think? This is this could be either good, 94 mil, or 50 mil. If we get a crescent ring, I might go for dual crescent. Crescent, please no. Tongrat earring. A A We got two people saying Tongrad, dude. Hell yeah, good stuff, guys. Score one for the boys back home. So we were initially planning on staying at Fogan's for the whole grind to 61, but it was getting pretty bad because there were so many people there and it was kind of a little bit of griefing and or karma bombing going on. Uh, kind of annoying, kind of frustrating. So I wanted to get the hell out of there. So someone in my chat recommended that if we finished comma one quest line, we were able to do a quest that would give us about 2% EXP. Now it wasn't a guarantee it was 2% EXP, but I was willing to take the risk. So I went ahead and went all the way over to comma, finished that quest line up. We had only about 10 quests to do for it. So it didn't take too long. And after we got that, we did a little bit of a uh, of searching for some people to try to get a group going for this Volterra training quest line because apparently you needed five people. We only did it with four, but it really wasn't too, too bad because the people we had were pretty geared. So um, that that little training ritual thing was actually a lot of fun. I did enjoy it. It was um, a lot different than basically everything that I've done in BDO so far. It was kind of like a horde mode where you got to protect a specific like pillar, I guess, and waves of monsters come in and then a boss comes in it's based on like earth fire or what air or whatever airbender stuff and uh it was pretty fun um but as we went to turn it in i realized we actually weren't able to get 61 off of it we needed uh, just a little bit more so we ran all the way back to uh to nagas and we finished off the level here at nagas where we began this big push for 61 and where we ended it so um Overall, really happy that we got to 61. Let's take a look at the gear that we're rocking right now after getting that level up because now we are able to take out one of those mar tri marks of shadows that we have, swap it with the Kaposha ring, and now we have one Ted attempt for that mark of shadow. So I'm really excited about that. We're probably going to be doing that on Friday in that enhancing stream. Looking forward to that. Uh, we're also probably going to do the Ring of Power quest line so we can go ahead and get another Ted attempt of a Mark of Shadow. I know I could probably sell them and make some pretty good money off of it, but I'm feeling a little bit risky, and I know you guys want the content, so we're probably going to do that. But it's been a long week of just smashing my face against my keyboard, hitting and killing mobs, and getting EXP, so I'm really happy to finally get level 61. Now it's time to make some more money for the enhancing stream on Friday, which is going to be around 7 o'clock Central Time, so 7 p.m. CST, uh, just as a, so if you guys are wanting to check that out. Um, but we're going to be making some more money for that and do a lot of big enhancing, hopefully get some more big gear upgrades. So that's all I got for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care.